Добрый день, уважаемые участники форума. Добрый день, уважаемые. Good afternoon, dear participants of the forum. Good afternoon, dear guests. We are happy to welcome you here. Не слышен микрофон. Микрофон не работает. 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 Не работает у него микрофон. Он не включил. Он говорит не в микрофон. Yeah. Uh, so why why the microphone is off? Uh, the speaker's microphone is off. Uh, today we were looking uh, to, to we, we 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 are going to look for uh, uh, the ways of communication used uh, by individuals and by our uh, social count, uh, the city councils uh, who uh, who is needed by whom more uh, individuals, uh, residents, uh, or local authorities. If I am a proactive individual, proactive resident of Moscow. What am I? Well, I always knew that the first microphone works better than the second one. Finally, the speaker can uh, voice himself. So, uh, who is a, a proactive Moscow resident? Now we'll try to answer to, uh, this question. I'd like to introduce uh, our today's uh, speakers and participants of this session. Sophie uh, Bodigendro, a professor of uh, political science from Sorbonne. Please, welcome. Uh, head of the Department of International Relations, uh, Istanbul, Ceramic in Hermes. Deputy Mayor of Moscow, uh, Head of uh, the Mayor's Office, uh, Anastasia Radova. A Minister of the Government of Moscow, of the Department of Culture, Sergei Kapkov. Uh, professor of the High School of Economics, Alexei Titkov. Uh, head uh, of the Intelligence Center Development, uh, Denis Volkov. That's about uh, polls and uh, surveys. Uh, head of the Laboratory of Sociology of the Russian uh, Research and Design Institute uh, of uh, Urban Development, Elena Chernova. And uh, the head of the Experts Center, No Traffic Jams, Alexander. Uh, sometime later, uh, one more colleague will join in, Irina Postavenka is expert uh, from the uh, uh, Education Institute of the uh, Russian Academy of Economy and the President of the Russian Federation. Now I'd like to give the floor to the first speaker, uh, Sophie Bodi uh, Jandreau, uh, who is a professor of political science of Sorbonne, uh, a director of the uh, Research Center of France. Okay, it's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for coming and listening to me. Uh, actually, I was asked to talk about public protest, and I'm going to talk about. Is it not working? Is it better this way? Can you hear me? Okay. So I was asked to, to talk about public protest, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about France, in other words. So let's say that our time is a, a time where social order and order are deeply intertwined. And because our time is marked by rapid changes, there are disruptions going on and protests and threats of disorder follow. The global fears worm their ways into uh, everyday life. Unstable city spaces emerge. They become sites of conflict and then they mutate. Protests. Let tell us something about the mutations of our time and what is new. There was always stories of protest in the history of cities. What is new is that now there seems to be a contagion. When you open the news, you see protests and disorders uh, happening in many countries and probably linked uh, by globalization but by specific, uh, specific outrage. However, it's very important for cities to keep order and security. It's vital for the residents, the employers, the investors, the city users. So in my research, I deconstruct how these protests emerge in the thickness of cities and neighborhoods. I try to understand their scope and scale and how cities respond. And I have studied south cities, north cities, all over. I am convinced that cities are the first 
to have to answer because often states are slow and cities have so much to lose by disruptions. So can they respond efficiently? How do they construct their problems? Uh, these are the questions I am asking myself. Uh, what are the resources cities have to deal with protest and bring back tranquility? How can they create an effective system of order and protection to their residents and to their visitors and city users? How local is order produced? How much local is order produced? And what is the level of decision making? Uh, can we have co-production of security? What mo would motivate citizens to take part of these solutions, of these solutions? And again, if solutions may appear familiar, questions are difficult and complex. Okay, no. Okay, so cities are really um, of major importance because streets are used by protesters. They are uh, a resource that protesters uh, have to uh, mark their discontent when, for instance, trees are cut in the uh, familiar square or street vendors are brutally killed by the police or bus fares are increased all of a sudden. And this takes place, this outrage takes place on the background of accumulated grievances in countries where elites are cut from the real people. So this unrest marks also the failures of global cities to understand what is going on, on at the bottom. And a lot of people uh, can understand the protesters. They make sense. They don't necessarily support the disorder, but they can understand. It's about rights and symbols. It, the protests are about becoming visible, at least briefly, and sharing an experience of uh, protest despite the very different people sharing this, this space. Ooh, not so easy. Okay. So take the example of France. In 2005, we had uh, three weeks of, of unrest. Uh, and what people on television would see every evening was this young people <coughs> putting f cars on fire and vandalizing uh, public, public symbols of the state and uh, confronting uh, policemen. There was a huge uh, vandalism and arson going on to the cost of over 250 million euros. So for the cities, the localities that were hit, it was a heavy price. But if you compare with what happened in London, in the Greater London in 2011, we cannot generalize at all. It's not, it's not the same contagion. Even if you look at this map of France, you have the feeling that all the country was erupting, absolutely not. In no locality was there more than four nights of unrest. It was television that were, was really linking these events with the same words, the same images, so that people had the feeling that it was taking place all over, but not true. After four nights again in the locality, peace would be restored. It was not the same policing, oops, uh, because uh, England and France do not have the same way of policing. The French police is really good at order maintenance, at restoring order. They have a long experience. <laughs> we say since the revolution of 1789, they have learned how to, to uh, stop revolutions. And so they, they really stopped uh, rather fast uh, the activists. The, the justice acted in real time. There were massive arrests taking place. Uh, the foreigners with uh, undocumented uh, papers were uh, deported to the borders. But um, again, I would uh, say that uh, the, the, the important sites were protected. They never went to Paris. Paris was really like a medieval city, well protected. It's a well policed city. And uh, I would give you a, a detail. The stock exchange kept climbing during those three weeks of unrest, which means that the middle classes were not really threatened. Uh, the police know how to negotiate with uh, the organizers, but there, is, there are always surprises. Even with uh, a good police, you have thugs 
uh, those who, people who want to break and break even the, the activists, the protesters. And so uh, sometimes the police may be at a loss what to do. Uh, the, what followed was uh, important uh, policies with more money given to them uh, addressing either the neighborhoods or uh, the people, uh, people and places. But France has no culture of citizen participation. It's really the top deciding what to do for, for the bottom. Uh, so what they do at the moment is re continue redistribu redistributing money to deprived neighborhoods, but also uh, spreading security zones with more policemen to make sure that before anything, these uh, places do not erupt again. And among the ideas to link the poor areas to the others, the Greater Paris uh, automatic subway is going to start soon. And what is progressive here is that it will link very deprived neighborhoods to inner, uh, um, clusters of economic innovation, university sites, uh, the airports, so that the people who feel so isolated at the moment will be linked by subway uh, to the others. And there will be also more linkages see, uh, from the sub one suburb to another so that people who are close to the airport can easily, by transportation, reach these, these uh, jobs. Uh, I want to insist on mobilization as ephemeral. Uh, they do not uh, last, but it doesn't matter at all because people have an experience that they can at least express their emotions at one point, at one moment, and that they will be heard. And for young people, it owns imagination, that they are not just passive and captive, but they can get together at one moment and, uh, and have the courage to start something, even if they do not know the outcomes. Uh, social inclusion, I think, is a local strategy for social order. Uh, people's life changes are not determined by the metropolis, but, but by where they fit into the metropolis. So the architects and the planners and people who think for the city good, they should give them quality housing and better quality services. It's a sign of respect for them and it, it uh, certainly appeases the tensions. Um, and it's... Uh, it's easier, for instance, uh, because it's a topic I know well, the police, uh, if policing is done by consent with the support of citizens acting with the police rather than in a militaristic way, but it depends on the culture. Uh, France still has a problem training young policemen to make them aware that citizens, especially young citizens of immigrant origins, have some rights after all. But some cities do it better. London has a good reassuring police, for instance. So to summarize, I think that uh, in local, local governance, there, is, uh, there are tools for social prevention. Uh, the cities can alleviate the tensions, heal the wounds, repair the social fabric. Uh, it's... Um, Better if the housing and the planning is done somewhat incomplete in order to let the residents complete in their own ways what was started. It is possible to, be, to govern through security and not just through uh, force, as in America, I would say, for instance. Uh, and social uh, policies may buy social peace. Uh, there are good examples of cities who know how to restore order through the tolerance of differences and uh, ethics and negotiations. In a conclusion, I think that cities may find the strength to help people handle their emotions by organizing forums, diversities of participants in those forums. We should not downplay the capacities of resistance of civil societies. Certainly cities are not in the power to reduce inequalities and unfairness, but they have the power to choose the measures and policies that early alleviate the tensions and allow a diversity of people living together 
with their difference in some kind of tranquility. Thank you so much for listening to me. Спасибо большое. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I recognize my colleague, Professor of Political Science. We discuss uh, uh, urban development and science here. Sorry, sorry. We discuss uh, uh, urban uh, development. And you discuss uh, mass events. Uh, now I understand what difference is between Moscow and Paris. Uh, while in Paris, uh, the more important thing is uh, high performance of policy, uh, policemen uh, and uh, effective uh, restoration after mass events. Uh, then in this country, uh, it's a bit different. Uh, it's uh, an efficient uh, prevention. Uh, prevention uh, and preemption and also identifying uh, the needs of our Moscow esteemed Moscow residents uh, and uh uh, no, no one would say that the uh, Moscow police behaves inappropriately. Uh, the matter is uh, how proactive our citizens are, how to find channels of communication, uh, how to identify their needs, uh, how to strike a common language uh, between uh, the civil society and the local authorities. I'd like to give the floor now to the second speaker uh, who represents Turkey, uh, head of the Department of International uh, Relations. Uh, Salamakin, Ermish, you're welcome. Uh, dear, dear guests, uh, uh, dear participants of this forum, uh, as all of us uh, witness it uh, right now, the modern society, as far as social economic development, uh, sustains uh, great changes. Uh, our world. Uh, uh, features uh, or is a sort of a global village, and our society regards uh, these changes uh, in a, uh, comprehensively. Uh, urban and urban areas, uh, cities and notably metropolis, become the main elements in that swift, striking transformation process. Uh, this forum that. Uh, uh, gathered us together, uh, we'll be able to evaluate the prospects and new horizons and in the development of our cities. So I welcome you, uh, participants. Our cities as centers of financial, cultural, and social life act as one of the largest areas and drivers of transformation and innovation. Today, more than 3 billion people live in cities, and the number will reach 5 billion in 2030. It is worth noting that the possibilities offered by cities, and especially megacities, to side display a common nature along with the problems raised by the increasing populations, and the potential is huge. And uh, we need to look uh, to resolve these problems. Um, posed by urbanization, global problems and global crisis, they are coordinated by different organizations and their problems of the cities are resolved together and the joint action plans for the sake of the world's future and uh, a large responsibility is also with uh, uh, city governments and citizens. Also, we need to consider different paradigms of uh, city management. Different transformations of the cities take place in almost every sector today, from industrial society to knowledge-based, from forest production to flexible production, from more intellectual and modernist thinking to post-modernism. So these are the processes that we see. and during this um, multi-dimensional transformation that corrodes the conditions that make governments legitimate and feasible. And we need to look for new ways of management and um, ways to solve problems and new ways to involve uh, public uh, opinion, public uh, in this process, which is more difficult, um, increasingly large, more and more complex which is related to inefficient management of uh, city, city uh, government. 
So those first processes and transformations uh, that we live through uh, today um, The governance uh, is uh, lagging behind in this uh, process of change. And create mass of interactions between the people in this rapid transition and then some ide identity problems also. And this atmosphere influences the, the scheme of local government city government is just not a vertical hierarchical structure but that's the system where the uh, citizens are involved in in the management in city management and our understanding here is not management uh, interaction in like collegiate management of course these processes uh, create new opportunities for us and uh, city government should evaluate the situation to make it useful to, to reinstate the balance and only efficient government which uh, will be performing only one common uh, goals and uh, an hierarchical uh, management Real problem that that builds the vertical of power that that uh, concentrates all the, the powers. They are transformed into the management that takes into account the factors like um, human rights and other uh, avail of other actors in the process of management. And uh, the government wants not just to manage themselves, but to make. Uh, citizens of the city able to manage um, uh, together and to be involved in this process. And it is the public organizations, commercial organizations, non-governmental institutions that are able to act jointly uh, to develop alternative ways of management. I would like to talk briefly about this effective governance and social municipal practice as a um, uh, city of Istanbul, uh, metropolitan municipality, in order to give you a few examples on how to put into practice the issues that I've just mentioned in um, the mayor of uh, Istanbul. The administration consists of 300 delegates and uh, and uh, from 39 districts and one chairman and municipal assembly of Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality, including the chairman and uh, beyond all the doubt, undoubtedly beyond the changes, change in structure of municipal assembly, we are in touch with youngsters, women, handicapped, various non-governmental organizations and other representatives from many districts of Istanbul under the framework of city council. We communicate with the stakeholders of the city so that demands from every segment of society can be conveyed to the administrators. And we develop the most efficient ways of city management on, on behalf of uh, Istanbul um, municipality. I can give you examples of and the sample of so-called um, white desk uh, program that's interaction with the public and uh, white desk practice helps to make citizens participate in local governance rather than avoiding them convey all sorts of complaints and suggestions related to municipal services to administrative levels and find solutions quickly and we try to develop the understanding that within this program they can uh, uh, perform important role in city management uh, regardless who is uh, in charge and they can directly participate in the mechanism of uh, management of city management and uh, uh, we use the opportunities of uh, advanced technologies here 
Uh, this became a model for many other municipalities. Uh, we have created a mobile application for IMM White Death so as to benefit from technological opportunities while creating mechanisms to realize direct participation. And we also provide furniture to uh, citizens of Istanbul, and they participate in distribution of this uh, services and, uh, and facilities. And, also, our students that go to the university in the master's program, bachelor's and graduate students, they can, um, within this, within another program, which is called My Project Istanbul in 2006, in a limited way to participate in the city management, city administration. And our aim is to as an Istanbul, it, it gives me joy to see that thousands of brains are working for solutions to make Istanbul a better place. On the other hand, Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality is running, we are consulting our neighborhood cities, chefs, chiefs, and we are discussing neighborhoods program in scope of neighborhood management that is significant for Turkish public and local administration systems. And uh, we are regularly listening to complaints and requests of uh, neighborhoods and uh, suggestions and expectations. So the mayor is like um, in charge of an orchestra and like a dirigeur and a uh, look. And they perform a different um, music. Um, but he's like a, a dirigeur, can coordinate their work and the orchestra. So this is the understanding that we have. On the other hand, uh, dirigeur ensures their, their um, harmonic uh, sound uh, in, in our city, uh, representatives of different social groups and different ethnical groups. Uh, so he's like a dirigeur, can, uh, should catch any, any voice, any sound coming from this uh, musician. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Much more positive. I see there are the, like shining eyes when we're talking about local uh, municipal administration um, agencies. When I, I see some deputies that I know that um, represent the, the local government, um, and uh, in this speech was the most important thing that, regardless of the level of, of, of government, whether it's a local or, or city administration, they'll have a common goal, and this goal is like in Moscow, uh, the, to improve the quality of life in Moscow. So White Desk is also an interesting program. And you heard it, we heard about Red Book or Green, and but in Moscow they implement a large number of programs related to internet environment, even civil activity. Those are like channels of communication that enable Moscowites to give information to the authorities much faster. And in order to understand which programs are implemented at the level of the city and which and the local uh, self-government and the role of, uh, of this, we would like to give the floor and, and listen to the deputy mayor of Moscow, Anastasia Rakova. Good afternoon, Alexei. I'm not a theoretician, but I'm a practic practitioner. And I'd like to speak about the cases where that we really use in the government of Moscow to involve the citizens of Moscow in the process of administration and to understand which areas for Mo Moscovites are the most urgent and where they should be, which management solutions should be, decisions are taken by the authorities and whether these uh, decisions are uh, satisfying the citizens. So these are our cities. Uh, these, they are educated uh, and, and um, uh, uh, usually, they have the understanding about global issues of city development and the point of view for solution of which problem. We have many people like this, and with each year, 
we have more and more people and our this is our competitive advantage on the other hand representative of city administration we feel the shortage of communication channels that enable us to involve the citizens in administration process and because if we see if we involve uh, people in in the, in the management then we can really improve its ef ef effectiveness if population is not involved in in decision making uh, then that's a different quality of of decisions and different situation for per per perception of these decisions for their further implementation and standard example here from nobody going to break the tree that that you grown although it would be cheaper to to hire a, a crew to plant these trees in the yard so how we understand what we do whether citizen like it or not so it's easy we make a decisions and think and and see uh, and, and the mayors of uh, then make it public and next day we look out of the window if we see people then yeah we got like it's an important area it needs to be regulated but although we may not have consulted with the right people and uh, and didn't know what the people know this is a joke and this is not the way to, to resolve problem and we don't want to do it and that's why we choose a new philosophy of management what is new philosophy of management that we try to implement for two years at all levels of city administration and I have been talking about this not once and provide a section that we first we need to determine groups with whom we try com to communicate uh, when resolving various problems and, and regulating issues second tools uh, in terms of uh, uh, learning the opinion of, of the citizens and and supply and so who are our, our counterparties in this dialogue uh, could be this could be separate citizens or professional groups or groups that are not professionals but are united with some common idea to improve certain area of city life and and people have, have like some common problems and that we knew and these are different territorial groups I'd like to say that we don't make priority for one or another group all these groups are important for us and their their scope and physical doesn't make uh, but that people want to resolve really problem not just to to deal with the process but resolve the problem so which channels and and tools are available for this uh, uh, te technological schemes to be resolved so there are plenty of them and I will uh, speak about two of them first development of local government this is a new new like breath of uh, which is done in Moscow for a while but we want to change this quality of public hearing that's fundamentally new for Moscow services related to introduction of various electronic channels of communications and mass communications that enable to fundamentally expedite the process of interaction of, of city dwellers of, to resolve their problems and and overall due to its public nature and openness allows to judge about efficiency of uh, city government and trust or, or mistrust to, to power authority that's another is a crowdsourcing we just started to develop our standard classical and and uh, these are different advice public organizations that participate in developing and, and decision making we have some urban urban forum uh, today and so the topic is development of periphery and for me it was a um, big like uh, openness that about 40 percent or 39 percent of of, of see don't, don't go out of their uh, district and uh, and they uh, they have their own like territorial communities as for them local issues not on just dominate but in terms of sociology are they only important and 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 determinant so therefore classical forum to engage active uh, citizens this is a local uh, government and the most efficient tool to engage them in a process is give power to them that's 
cannot be nothing more efficient than this. So this, we had elections in all 25 municipalities and uh, 18, 100, 5, 560 and, and updated deputies by 50 percent and renewed. So by our expert knowledge, we have 200 deputies are leaders of various communities and, uh, and public opinion. And many of them are known, well-known people um, who have their own understanding about any problem of, of city um, development and actively uh, participate in, in process. So all those active city people that, that wanted to participate in the, in the power, they, they have this opportunity already now. So what we did as a second step, a second step, we provided this power to those deputies uh, related to these districts. Again, developing local uh, self-government, we don't give to executive uh, officials. We give it to the councils of um, municipal deputies and, and deputies themselves. And because if they are self-realized and the most active people, they are, they are able to unite most active uh, citizens and uh, and and. Uh, come up with some projects and solutions of uh, problems that, that concern the uh, citizens of these territories, implement these projects and, and control executive power. Um, and moreover, we have various different small local conflicts, and, and we all understand that we all different people and for, on the same issue everywhere, including the municipal level, exist like uh, opposite uh, points of view of, of people and 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 people are, are, are ready to insist on the on their positions and to stand by and as uh, representatives of this they have to act as arbiters in this situation so which authorities were provide to local uh, power administration we already all resources related to region district development today are distributed by representatives of local government represent. I could show us a slide where finance is presented. Well, another slide. As for the resources of district development, uh, 2011 is not provided here because part of the municipalities, uh, were, their role was zero in resource uh, Allocation. We lost this program in 2012, and out of 40 billion rubles, uh, 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 4 um, uh, billion were allocated uh, together, participatory basis. 20 billion rubles, we said uh, uh, we had uh, for 2013 for all uh, the issues uh, of the development uh, for uh, land improvement, uh, uh, house construction, uh, street lighting. Uh, all these funds are allocated only by local uh, authorities. In a targeted way, uh, many uh, members uh, of uh, Moscow legislature take part uh, in uh, this process. Uh, furthermore, we introduced uh, such incentives. Uh, we included those not only in the city development programs, uh, uh, but the facilities uh, are identified by municipalities. But we also uh, take such as uh, some uh, funds uh, which are not appropriated uh, narrowly, but uh, the uh, members uh, of the Moscow legislature decide uh, where to send uh, the, uh, these uh, these money. Uh, right now, without uh, the control uh, by representative uh, agencies, uh, we uh, uh, distribute money only uh, for uh, uh, for keeping uh, the yards, uh, districts, uh, uh, public uh, spaces. Uh, uh, to a large extent, we have one common standard uh, for keeping. Uh, uh, there is uh, no debate is appropriate here. The minimum standard of uh, district keeping, uh, uh, and uh, we are advantageously advantageous compared with Paris. We don't have poor quarters, uh, undeveloped quarters in Moscow, as uh, uh, the mayor of Moscow said. Uh, uh, all of us feel that when I go to extreme south of Moscow, and uh, I feel uh, jealous that we don't have uh, the playground, children's playgrounds uh, there, like uh, in Moscow downtown. Uh, so the situation is even better in the outskirts. Uh, uh, another area uh, which is a matter of principle for Moscow is construction. Uh, construction is always a painful issue. And the municipal uh, uh, members of local legislature, well, I mean those local communities, uh, we handed over to them uh, uh, construction relating, well, construction sites for them in particular. Uh, they are not uh, uh, general uh, city projects. Uh, they are uh, local projects uh, for local residents. Uh, 
local communities, uh, and there has been an evergreen problem that is the development of cultural uh, facilities. Uh, a district was always split into parts. Uh, well, actually, the community, uh, some of those were proponents, uh, proactive proponents, and uh, opponents, uh, similarly proactive, irrespective of the type of cultural facility. But uh, uh, d during the last year, uh, um, the uh, merit of Moscow has not had such problems. Uh, these are the issues, the agenda for local communities, uh, district communities, and well, it's all well, it's a painful issue, which side to take. And the same is true for garages. I remember those garages, uh, 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 the, 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 the unrest. It's, uh, some of them argued for having a garage nearby, others were against. And, uh, but uh, it's not anymore our headache, it's the headache of uh, local communities. Uh, and the people uh, go, go, don't go to protest to the streets, it's great. Uh, uh, you can see on this slide some examples. When you make such decisions, uh, uh, you can see here that in 50% of cases, uh, uh, local deputies uh, look at these issues uh, quite in a practical way, but not the projects uh, are implemented. Only 50% of projects are implemented, and 50% is declined. On the other hand, uh, the, these uh, local deputies, uh, they are able uh, to, to, to sort out situation better and to make a balanced decision. Indeed. Uh, uh, we always hear a question, and uh, I can see it in the eyes of the audience. I, I believe they would like to hear what will come next. Is it uh, an end of something or a start of something? I would say it's a neither uh, end nor uh, a start of something. We are in the middle. We don't understand uh, that uh, our residents uh, uh, have the right to have more authorities, to be more empowered. Uh, uh, to uh, solve their local issues. I think that uh, local communities should take on more issues to organize their own life. Uh, but there is a question. Uh, uh, decentralization always entails risks uh, relating to uh, possible adverse uh, implications, uh, chaos, uh, and uh, probably uh, districts may appear where we'll just uh, uh, drown in, in snow in summertime and in the mud in uh, 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 in winter time, well, if people want to be more empowered, it's uh, up to them. It's their problems. Maybe some people like to live in uh, dirt uh, in Monday. Uh, well, yeah, well, those who don't like, uh, they may move to another district. Uh, the majority of global cities live following this philosophy, and uh, and the, 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 the people don't need to go to the mayor uh, or they, they settle issues either with local community, or local. Uh, uh, councils uh, or live in dirt, uh, but I don't think I do not think it's a good example. Uh, we uh, should uh, borrow uh, uh, as it is. Uh, uh, we are looking uh, for, and uh, we uh, debate intensively. I'd like all the participants to join in these debates, uh, uh, so that uh, decentralization uh, uh, should, in parallel, have uh, tools uh, of. Uh, uh, of quick intervention by Moscow authorities in a situation which goes from under control. Uh, some uh, crisis settlement tools which would uh, help uh, uh, for uh, the government of Moscow uh, to uh, perceive uh, the, the context and uh, to redress the balance. Uh, well, uh, five, five years uh, uh, <coughs> uh, office, uh, uh, well, it's a longer period for uh, uh, deputies. Uh, duties, uh, but uh, it's too, it's too, it's too uh, long uh, actually. Uh, yeah, these are uh, crisis settlement tools, uh, which exist at the federal level. These are authorities of the pro these uh, the the rights of the of the, of the president uh, to express uh, uh, distrust uh, to uh, uh, other uh, public uh, and state uh, figures, and uh, we we have problems of federal legislation. But uh, some such tools. Uh, well, we should think about and promote those. Uh, right now, we are in a stage of uh, discussion, and I'm inviting you to join in. Uh, there's another area uh, I would like to dwell on. Uh, as for the tools uh, that help us to uh, uh, survey public opinion and uh, to find consensus, that's public hearings. Uh, public hearings uh, on uh, various construction projects. Uh, all of us are aware that Moscow is uh, a city of uh, established and uh, rather dense uh, uh, built-in uh, areas. Uh, on the other hand, we need the major uh, urban development and uh, transport projects. Uh, we implement these projects proactively. We have a huge investment program which uh, helps make uh, the city more comfortable. But uh, inevitable, well, conflicts are inevitable because uh, major transport uh, uh, projects uh, are carried out in uh, already well-built uh, built-in uh, 
area areas there uh, and an attempt uh, to uh, settle uh, uh, public uh, e or private interests uh, of local residents uh, in a certain part of the city <coughs> we tackle that uh, through public hearings uh, but there are classical uh, problems uh, which are typical for the entire uh, city country and the whole world uh, that uh, those uh, uh, who uh, whose interests are touched uh, by these interests uh, or uh, maybe uh, 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 flyovers and uh, highways uh, may uh, run near your uh, home. Well, those uh, who gain from this project, uh, their beneficiaries, they keep silence. Uh, they they are happy. Uh, they still do not understand right now that this uh, for this project to be uh, completed, uh, uh, they need to be no less uh, proactive than others uh, who are, are against that. Uh, every month we hold about uh, 30 public hearings. Uh, it's a huge number. Uh, many of those are problematic, uh, conflict-related, uh, uh, and uh, the entire pra uh, pra practice uh, we have generated over the past two years, uh, we are creating a new standard for public hearings, uh, and in the near future, we'll try to implement quite uh, proactively. I'd like to repose on some conceptual issues of this standard. First, it's a maximum uh, uh, education of the society. I think the more people know about this process, uh, the better. People, as a rule, uh, are afraid uh, not of the project, but uh, they have some phobias, uh, some myths uh, in their minds, uh, some illusions, God knows, coming from where. So uh, the more uh, information we provide to the people, uh, the more quality data we provide, uh, the more uh, smart uh, speakers are, there's more chance to convince uh, the people. We need also to draw in public hearings, uh, not only uh, the uh, individuals uh, who are against it, uh, they are proactive anyway, but rather to involve uh, those uh, who are uh, beneficiaries. So uh, uh, people should understand if uh, they uh, behave uh, proactively, even if they not defend a certain project, uh, if it's a, a spot project, so we certainly won't implement it. If it's a linear project, we'll see uh, how uh, necessary it is. And uh, I have uh, seen repeatedly my colleagues uh, from uh, local departments, and I uh, tell them uh, if uh, individuals are actively against uh, uh, the birch uh, tree uh, district uh, for example for example those who don't go for that then we'll cancel that project we do not uh, do land improvements uh, until uh, proactive individuals go to the street and with the same share of, of uh, activity would defend the same project it's harder with linear projects uh, in this case, well, I think uh, drawing uh, to people to public hearings, not only people living in a, in a uh, not, lo not local residents uh, who physically are injured uh, by this construction site, but also those uh, people uh, who are users of this uh, highway, for instance, this road, uh, the future one. Uh, they are uh, common city uh, projects, and they should be debated uh, by the entire city or uh, on a, in an enlarged format uh, while drawing uh, those residents uh, who would uh, get some dividends from that, so to say, uh, not only those uh, who are near the highway. Another area or other principle that is to hear and listen, listen and hear. So we are very proactive in in separating critique, just a simple critique, from constructive proposals. Right now, we try all these constructive proposals. We can take into account we do that. We redo the projects. In some cases, we do land improvements, which certainly incur more costs. But if possible to consider the interests of uh, local residents, I can give you uh, dozens of examples uh, when uh, following the interests uh, of a local community, we used to uh, uh, relay uh, roads and railways, whatever. I think such projects are available in any district. Uh, another area uh, is a matter of principle to us. We, are, we work quite intensively we, to ensure transparency. Uh, uh, publicity and minimizing the ideas of local people that such public hearings are dishonest. It's not a simple project. Uh, it's a changing uh, uh, mentality uh, also by technology uh, at the construction site. Uh, I can bring up an example, the Leninsky Avenue, Lenski Prospect, uh, a public hearing that we held uh, uh, and continued uh, till uh, 3 uh, p.m., uh, th uh, 3, uh, 3 a.m., in the, in the presence of all the participants, uh, proponents and opponents of the project. So we did our best. We violated all the formal rules of uh, such uh, pro formal procedures uh, in order to convince uh, the participants of these public hearings uh, 
that uh, well as it is it as it, it is as it is and after that no one would say it's dishonest uh, these are the main thing and the critical thing is that resulting from such public hearings uh, we see uh, uh, there are more shortcomings in the project uh, than uh, its advantages, then we believe that it's more appropriate to reject the project. We think it's our victory, because in this case, uh, uh, with these public hearings, uh, we do not make uh, a final decision. We would like to discuss this uh, pro particular project with you. And uh, resulting from this activity of the people, we find that there are more disadvantages than advantages, and in many cases, we reject such projects. Uh, uh, all of you know that fairly, there are many projects that have been uh, denied. Uh, and the standards we'd like to implement and to put into uh, uh, the legal framework. There's another know how to of our origin uh, that's our portals, uh, internet portals. I mean, our city portal, uh, the one that we created, where we try to change uh, lo local mentality of how efficient or inefficient. Uh, uh, officials we are to minimize uh, uh, the uh, expenditures of local residents uh, to uh, tackling their local issues and on the other hand uh, to uh, make use uh, in a good sense uh, of uh, local community as uh, uh, public uh, inspectors and controllers uh, 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 because we don't have as many resources to control every yard in a district. Uh, but uh, if uh, we have public control, that will be much better. Uh, we have uh, a portal for that. And uh, uh, after, uh, since last August, we have uh, uh, expanded uh, the, uh, some, uh, the agenda of all these portals. There are 127 themes there. It's uh, the entire spectrum of uh, burning uh, city uh, uh, issues and now we have about 4,000 claims we receive every week, uh, which is comparable with uh, the number of uh, complaints that come to us on paper. These are probably the key things, and I would like to give the floor to my colleagues uh, who will uh, describe their uh, uh, crowd. Uh, uh, crowdsourcing uh, project. Uh, Alexander Shumsky, uh, who was the founder of uh, uh, the pioneer of such uh, small size city projects, uh, where the public uh, tries to, to improve the uh, 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 transport system uh, in the city, and he, he will tell us uh, how various uh, communities, professional and other communities, are involved in this work. That is it with me. Thank you, Anastasia. Indeed, uh, in 2012-2013, uh, the municipal community uh, has sustained the serious changes. Uh, right now, uh, the deputy councils uh, agree uh, various uh, de district development plans. Uh, they make uh, additional uh, socioeconomic development plans, and most importantly, they have control over uh, spending and uh, such action plan implementation. As for prompt response, if in one district, for instance, someone uh, performs poorly, then thanks to the executive agencies, this issue can be resolved quite uh, quickly. Anastasia uh, did not mention uh, that uh, one more authority uh, has, been, uh, has been given uh, to these local deputies. And now a deputy council can express uh, distrust uh, 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 to the head of uh, the uh, prefecture, prefecture. And uh, as for uh, modern approaches, uh, modern portals, uh, every uh, municipal uh, deputy uh, has his own personal cabinet uh, where uh, he uh, looks very attentively to all complaints. Uh, and we have such a program of municipal control, uh, thanks to which uh, uh, municipal uh, deputies uh, track and monitor various events in the city. Now I'd like to give the floor to uh, the next uh, speaker. That is uh, Alexander Shumsky, who is the head of the expert center. No traffic jams. Well, well, where is there the control? Uh, uh, good afternoon. I present the tra No Traffic Jams project, uh, and uh, I introduce myself uh, as a citizen who has become aware of uh, my responsibility in the city. You know, we live in the Berilova district. What events were there, and we express our uh, uh, civilian position quite intensively, and we also make steps in order to improve the situation with transport. We uh, we are a crowdsourcing project uh, in a classical sense. Uh, we it's the seventh year on end that we have been operating in the city. 
and uh, we have a principally different uh, pattern of relationships with the Moscow government. Uh, so we'd like to tailor the entire chain. Uh, when, for instance, uh, we get uh, on our internet portal not just a message about uh, a pit on a road. These are simple things, uh, but there are some more complicated things uh, which uh, uh, remain idle, not tackled for years and years, uh, because at a certain uh, level of governance, uh, they don't have interest in that. So we need to push it through and upward. How do we? What do we do? We, uh, we are present quite uh, uh, widely in the city, including uh, social advertising. Uh, it's not what the city gives us uh, for the people just to get steam out from, uh, to avoid uh, civil unrest. No, uh, people go there, they uh, uh, file uh, their proposals, uh, and then we submit those either to the Department of Transport or the Department of Construction, the utilities, and so on, and then we uh, implement. Uh, over the last three years, uh, we implemented in total probably uh, projects worth uh, three billion Rubles. What is it? Uh, for example, though strange it might seem, this is the peri periphery of, of Moscow, uh, this uh, uh, blockaded road, and there is a high uh, a highway there, what, uh, where people uh, have filed complaints for several years. Uh, but the uh, local head of prefecture, prefecture it w he, he was more interested in his peace uh, rather than in helping people. It took us one whole year to tackle this issue, even to fight for this site. Uh, it happened sometimes, and thousands and thousands of people finally got this uh, possibility to uh, use their cars uh, on this road. Uh, not like before when it was blockaded. Now. Now it is Moscow. Moscow, several years ago, looked like this. It's like abandoned, an abandoned district where people try to pass through, including cars. It's the Volgogradsky Avenue or Prospect, but only local residents know what road they need. Now it has appeared there over time because uh, no bureaucrat, however he can be, he is unaware. He doesn't know where a, a local resident needs to have a road or traffic lights. Even if you use one and the same road, you know it ideally, you know your logic, you know what affects your choice. Apart from such solutions and decisions, as specific, the request of local residents will try to do land management, land improvements. Uh, there's a classical example. There's a Pyatnitskaya Street. It looks like this right now, unfriendly, uh, not viable. And next year, yeah, we are designing this uh, street. We'll turn it into a more European street, uh, more con comfortable. Uh, there will be uh, uh, bike uh, lanes, uh, other changes. So the street will look like a very good place uh, for living, not only uh, to use, be used for a car to rush through just and to drink a cup of coffee, and that's it. Uh, uh, and the local residents also enjoy this life. Uh, together with Moscow, uh, we conduct a federal experiment in three regions. Now we are supported in this issue, and uh, with, uh, the right to turn on the red light is on the one of the crossroads of our city. It has, it has some additional positives, uh, increased capacity, and no accidents. So these specific measures that are raised by, by the citizens, and they are expressed in specific examples in the city, and you have seen some advertising in Moscow also. Another problem is related with public transportation. A small example how the stops for public transport is are parked cars, and people get out. Of. It's not convenient to uh, dwellers and pedestrians and those drivers, and they don't want to uh, Break the rules. Uh, we have been in other places. I want to live civilized. And some simple solutions that uh, just need to be um, found out. And uh, although it's not in line with our outdated regulations, and just implement, they need to be improved, pushed through, and um, uh, provide the money. And there's no problem with money now, and also without understanding in their power. Just need to make this mechanism work, although it has been slowing down now. So some federal procedures like a federal law, well, some simple measures take a long time. And as what people asking for it will be implemented on the next year in the city, I think that's applause to me, I think. <coughs> now that's a diagon diagonal crossings in the city. Instead of just uh, walking uh, on perpendicular road, on you can just cross and all people do it and just make it legal, this simple uh, path. And uh, nobody just dealt with it. And 
until citizens propose it was not considered seriously. So these simple uh, examples of interaction enabled not just to uh, blow the, the uh, vapor, but also for people to understand that they can resolve their problem in a year or so and the whole chain of the implementing their simple ideas and they feel it and try to feel differently uh, in the city and uh, love the city and, and feel responsible for it. Thank you. Alexander Balshoi, thanks for that. You took upon the, the public um, uh, tool on this where you make a, uh, a road, you make a put asphalt. You have, we have many drivers here who already turned on, on to the right on, on red light. Let's make a sociology. Why, why don't you? So we use this uh, oh, for 50 years already. No. And now we introduced it. So five years is just 10 years is not much. So and the road is bad. It's not coming to the uh, park of uh, rest. Uh, the minister, Florida, to the minister of culture and, uh, of Moscow, uh, Mr. Kapkov, to continue a presentation of Alexander. Uh, Alexander didn't feel like that he was a, a member of a council on, on public space uh, under the mayor's office and uh, and uh, bring to this council uh, different projects, not only local. Um, people are not like just officials, and but people that are professional who want to deal with the issues of the city and, and feel responsible for as well as uh, uh, Moscow mayor employees. So regarding now interaction with uh, city dwellers and for those who, for them to feel like a, um, urban uh, and this term related to many political um, people are discontent, uh, city dwellers and some city dwellers. We remove this word because each Moscovite, each citizen of the city is a, a city dweller. And uh, in our activity, we are based in so-called new city professionals. These are young, usually profession, professional, educated people who have opinion on, on certain problem. And uh, Alexander is very bright. It could be young architects, and young specialists in security of the city, in, in transportation, or in other areas, culture, health care, uh, etc. So everything that we do to develop public like, uh, air space, uh, we didn't usually have our own opinion. We had a, a city standard to upgrade and uh, to improve territories. And, but we always uh, polled and, uh, citizens and spoke to experts and uh, provided this project under each park. We had a, uh, a public council, included, uh, including all the people from the uh, district next to the and young architects and, and professionals and big architects like instructors of Moscow Architectural Universities. And we were able even to invite Western specialists on uh, urban studies and architecture and that had their own opinion for for developing one or another territory. So example is uh, uh, terminal, though I can be object. When we had 14 parks in our department and, and two pedestrian zones, this system was easy to do and implement. So whatever you can offer and if you're able to actively advocate it and, and use the opinions of experts, this almost 100% supported by the population because population requirements are also quite clear. And uh, if we may take example, the first central park, uh, Gorky Park. Uh, so first study that was done from the institute and, and the fund, people wanted two thing, simple things, clean toilets and illuminated park and security, not just availability of, secure, of guards, but feeling secure better than uh, in, a, in a common city territory. So having implemented that, we understand that in five months there are new expectations for like uh, 
um, public uh, for for the food and and for navigation and etc. We, we understand that this way is um, endless, and although interesting. Now, when the, out of the complex of utilities, um, I transferred more than 80 parks to us. That's a different question. And we have enough uh, Moscow general standard for uh, improvement, but the a substantial part there are different uh, citizens and different requirements to parks and and this and, and different community uh, historically was included in this park park of people go there on purpose as in like um, to celebrate and and others use it as a, as a yard like territory where on a, they walk uh, on a daily basis with children or dogs or or, or girlfriends and uh, and some with uh, all the parents, and and immediately this public space become a conflict zone, and uh, some goes like to make uh, uh, shashlik and uh, ben, kebab, and even if it's not formulated by the trying to formulate it for the society, and trying to find a comfortable place of, uh, for each one on the territory of public space, uh, having retain the Moscow city standard of security, like illumination, and free format of visiting parks. It seems to me that finalize many presentations. And if we look at the recent two, three years and uh, experience of Paris, uh, Istanbul, Moscow, all those even protests of, of uh, wide uh, like, uh, of public uh, have not touched Moscow in terms of uh, life in, in uh, Moscow. It w they were all related with a political agenda. And Moscow as a capital city has uh, always uh, takes this uh, blow because all these political processes are happening in the capital cities. Um, so when you, if we consider this form, and, and, and scope of, of improvement and public amenities of and discussion about um, improvement of the city and reporting to the Moscow it's about the amount of square meters that's how we form new city dwellers and trying to, to push a new discussion about the future of the city because by, I'm sure that I'm convinced all the more people of the city and, and uh, voters and, and those newly arrived who purchased apartments, they realize themselves as city dwellers there. The faster we can implement city development projects. So that's how and I can say that we're all in the beginning of this road. And but that's complex, but very interesting and exciting. Thank you. Uh, you said uh, free access uh, to the park and to the internet. Yeah, it was like that. It's a Soviet time system. That the, uh, uh, the entry was paid uh, uh, to all Soviet time parks, uh, and it was paid. But two years ago, the mayor of Moscow decided to, to make it uh, free. This entry, not paid. Uh, as for the internet, it, it, then it's uh, it's uh, it's at a function, not only communication, but you change uh, the entire audience. So when the internet appeared, uh, and people come to work with a PC, uh, have a possibility to navigate, uh, maybe to uh, download something. Uh, I think uh, the internet, uh, well, if we take it uh, on a wide scale, like uh, the subject of our discussion, I would say, uh, like uh, uh, public space, uh, we compete with other public spaces, uh, like uh, trading centers. Uh, uh, central squares, uh, we should add as many services as possible, which possibly uh, new uh, residents uh, uh, are not waiting for. Uh, so we should uh, probably preempt uh, pre their wishes, uh, anticipate their wishes. Uh, at the very beginning, it was said it was hard uh, to uh, see the opinion of uh, Moscow's, uh, Moscow residents, what they would like to have in a park or elsewhere. And I will look at the floor to the head of the intelligence center, uh, social polls uh, and service center, Denis Polkov. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. In my uh, short presentation, I would like uh, uh, to 
uh, refer you to both uh, the name of our, the title of our session and also to the presentation by Anastasia Vladimir. Uh, well, well, as for the interests of our uh, citizens, uh, residents, uh, uh, well, they are most varied, uh, these interests uh, in a society. You cannot always, and they are not always visible, but uh, uh, the wealthier a society is, the people are more educated, they get more social capital, then uh, this society becomes, becomes more and more sophisticated, uh, ramified, uh, with groups of interests appearing, uh, representatives uh, of these groups, uh, activists appear. On the one hand, it is a great um, a potential for future development, but uh, also you can see there uh, con potential conflicts. Uh, because uh, as we uh, saw in our study, in our survey that we uh, held two or three years ago, uh, a lot of that was described in the 1960s by Huntington, uh, Eisenstadt, uh, when uh, such groups uh, have already got shape, uh, they already define their interests, uh, then either uh, they uh, satisfy those or if there is an obstacle, they get politicized and it just uh, results in a protest. Uh, I'll get back to the point to this point later, but now some words about communication channels. Those uh, those uh, which were uh, uh, announced in the presentation, I don't, well, no, they are exhaustive in one sense, uh, they are complete. But they, there is a problem of trust, uh, trust between the mayorate, uh, the government, uh, not between uh, the individuals, but rather proactive citizens. Uh, so what could be a solution there? I think only one. Uh, we need a dialogue, uh, an interface, uh, ongoing, uh, and mutual respect. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the government always does not give you always a, an answer, and the activists are often also set up uh, sometimes rather radically, uh, but they need uh, still to uh, work hand in hand. Uh, your question was uh, how to, to how to see these activists. You can see them uh, during protests uh, because a protest uh, surfaces most proactive people. Then uh, we can we can uh, uh, enumerate all those cases. But I think these ones will develop further. Secondly, uh, so sociologists uh, and uh, other communities. I think we, we need not a sp not a spotted surveys, but fundamental ongoing surveys, independent uh, research centers. Uh, well, it, uh, we, we need to, to have a targeted uh, look uh, and also draw expertise uh, for this work at such events like this one. Secondly, well, we should uh, take a look at uh, the uh, civil uh, uh, institutions uh, uh, working uh, intensively with these activists. Uh, uh, for instance, the uh, Sakharov Center uh, or a Civil Initiative Committee, uh, the Municipal uh, Deputies uh, uh, Council. Uh, these are uh, the venues uh, where all forums, uh, where all the well-known activists uh, are already there. Just to work uh, with them hand in close contact. Uh, you don't need to look for someone. Everybody has already found uh, his uh, partner and counterparty. I believe if we summarize what I've said, it's not uh, just uh, solely uh, the venues uh, uh, with the government uh, or under the government, uh, but also uh, it's a st standalone, independent uh, civil hemisphere, a civil domain, a public domain, I would say. This is what we need to uh, promote further. Well, to complete, uh, I would say, well, uh, what, uh, what danger is there as well? Well, if you don't have such a public space, uh, public environment, uh, if you don't have uh, advocacy, if you don't have leaders who are ready for dialogue, who are ready to listen, give attention, when there is a, a problem, for instance, but when there are no leaders around, then it's not well defined, not structured. Uh, it's like the Birulovo district, uh, where we had civil unrest, quite very serious. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you uh, do uh, surveys, uh, conduct surveys. Yeah, there'll be a third part of it. Uh, uh, could you kindly tell us uh, what is the share of uh, uh, proactive uh, residents uh, who live uh, in the metropolis? Metropolis. Well, it's a hard question. On the one hand, uh, well, in a metropolis. Uh, 
primarily in Moscow, these processes go much uh, quicker and on a larger scale than in the towns. As for, well, it's hard to measure if we discuss those who are skeptical and not ready to trust uh, uh, about 40% of those uh, we uh, take, take, took on record. And uh, though the leaders uh, who uh, who have certain uh, interests behind them, uh, well, I discuss uh, uh, social interests. Uh, there are there are they're well known. There are not many. There's a story, uh, the construction, architecture, transport, uh, groups of interests, uh, obser observers, uh, uh, GLBT. I wanted to say uh, everything starts oftentimes with what? Uh, there, are, uh, there are some people who are career makers uh, on it, uh, make career on this. On, well, you have departed from the subject. We were interested more in social science. Uh, well, so, uh, social science not in num is not in numbers. It's in understanding how various processes are born. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, we have, in effect, only 15 minutes before the end of this session. Uh, uh, there will be two more speakers. Uh, please, uh, one uh, one or two minutes, uh, and then we'll go to questions. And uh, now, uh, Alexei Titkov, a professor of the High School of Economics. Uh, thank you, Alexei. Thank you uh, that you designated and clear two main issues. Why uh, some proactive people uh, appear, and who needs more? Uh, the, the the power needs people, or people need uh, the power. Uh, I'll try to be as brief as possible. And then I can give a proposal to think about. Uh, first of all, why we didn't have proactive uh, individuals, uh, residents uh, uh, here? Well, uh, many of them are already aware, but there is lack of trust uh, uh, in, 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 in the government, no trust in police, no trust in authorities, and so on. And there is another side. Uh, uh, they, don't, uh, they, they do not trust uh, civil activists uh, nor uh, ac uh, proactive individuals. We have grown up in a country where it's abnormal uh, to be proactive and to think about future interests. Uh, uh, we have, uh, after uh, that, uh, several, uh, several decades of Soviet collectivism uh, tried to do that, uh, uh, after we also tried, uh, well, we just, we just compete and everything will be fine. Now we have to think from where uh, civil protests appear uh, and come. Uh, and this, uh, I would like to save time because there are only two main solutions that uh, have been mentioned by Anastasia. Uh, we, we, we always to find a solution. We need some emotional excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anastasia, you're quite right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's some spotted construction somewhere in a yard. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a, when a personal threat to you. Then of course you become uh, proactive anyway, without your desire even. And also uh, mass political protests. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, complicated phenomenon. It can be evaluated variously. But indeed, it's sort of also an, an excitement, uh, an agitation. Uh, and when people begin to think that they should think about something common, and uh, they, they become more interested in uh, city affairs, uh, these are the people who have, uh, have participated in various uh, uh, meetings. Now, second, who needs whom more? The power needs people, or people. The people need the power. No, no one needs anyone, unfortunately. As for the uh, the authorities, I would say uh, they are egoistic. They don't think about uh, humans. Uh, no, uh, I I would like to refer to one uh, survey that was uh, held at the uh, Academy uh, of State Service, State Administration, and understand how people uh, bureaucrats are not so that bad as people think about those. Uh, in a certain sense, uh, they are rather good. Well, we'll, pray. we'll take uh, we'll take na later the names of these good bureaucrats. Yeah, some of them are anon anonyms. Anonyms. Uh, well, 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 well. We, we cannot do this survey. We cannot disclose uh, these people. Well, but uh, what what is a, a good method of thinking about yourself uh, and the people around? We are professionals. We know how to do that. Uh, they are not professionals. Uh, these bureaucrats. Uh, but we do know. Uh, we are business-like uh, people. We are reserved. But those are too emotional, excited. Either they are sick, or maybe they are just kids. Uh, we are like smart people. We have to take uh, care of them as. Uh, uh, teachers. This is the attitude that helps sometimes uh, to crack many problems. Uh, but this is the attitude uh, which uh, uh, does not uh, foster uh, a, civil, uh, a, a civil dialogue. On the other hand, uh, there is a good side in this distrust, uh, that, uh, which facilitates control over uh, government uh, performance. Uh, 
uh, there is uh, an obvious conflict uh, there, uh, but in a paradox, uh, there are uh, common interests there. Nonetheless, uh, uh, there, there is a, a sadder, a sadder trend. Uh, that the activism of the later generation, uh, when recently there was a survey at the High School of Economics, uh, the ideas uh, are more or less clear now. There are people who do not try even to oppose uh, the government. Uh, they try uh, to, to be, uh, would like to be without uh, any uh, authorities uh, and try, uh, they think it's too hard to, to work in this area rather than, uh, they don't want to do anything with their own hands. Uh, right now it's not an uh, anarchical attitude uh, and uh, we also should, uh, should think how to do with it. Uh, and also as for, uh, it's abnormal to be proactive. Uh, it was not the attitude of rank and file people to, if you are an activist or a cynic or probably a bit uh, uh, sick, so we need to keep uh, away from such people. Another subject of the first presentation by Professor uh, uh, Jean Rowe was uh, that there is a permanent fear that civil activity will uh, turn into uncivilized uh, uh, unrest uh, and destruction. And uh, this fear, to a large extent, uh, also uh, reflects on the attitude by the local administration. So the situation here yeah, is uh, rather complicated. And the last thing, what to do, what to do? Well, my proposal is rather not practical. Uh, it's, it's rather just my reflections, uh, reflections of my mind, which might uh, help us uh, to uh, take a look at uh, this issue uh, at, at, a, at, a, at a different side. Uh, thank you to Professor Jean-Louis jean, -Louis jean uh, who reminded us uh, the, the subject of inclusion social inclusion uh, is also uh, quite relevant for Moscow and for the country. Over the l l last two decades, uh, the uh, attitude uh, to uh, people in need, uh, like uh, the uh, aged, uh, retired, and the disabled, well, now a more hum uh, uh, humane attitude that we have to them. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, if we take proactive, uh, proactive protesters, uh, also they are a weak group, by the way, uh, who need uh, protection. Uh, if you are used uh, to think uh, about people uh, uh, as uh, those who take care of, in this case, also try to uh, to get uh, a, a helpful uh, skill. Uh, you can imagine the proactive protesters, although they are disabled in a sense, uh, they also need uh, social inclusion. Uh, they also need a barrier-free environment. Uh, and Alexei, Alexei, it, uh, your statement was important. What's the difference between Moscow and Paris? In Paris, uh, they have a barrier-free environment uh, for proactive people, for protesters. Uh, meetings uh, and strikes are a normal part uh, of the civil environment. Uh, they are not uh, fenced off, uh, they're not isolated uh, uh, to, 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 to some uh, reserved uh, districts uh, like the park, uh, Gorky Park in Moscow. Well, we don't have a barrier-free environment in Moscow. Yeah, 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 no, think about, think about, well, about the protesters. I think about them as well, not only about others. And I would like to give the floor to Elena Chernova, head of the Social Science and Urban Construction Laboratory of the Russian R&D Research in Urban Development Institute. So I've been given only one minute, or at least two minutes. I'll try first to state and just comprehensive, comprehensively, in an abstract way, the mainstream, uh, the mainstream, which has resulted in uh, our discussing this point uh, uh, about uh, uh, citizens who uh, have become aware of themselves. Uh, we have a, a constitution, and there is a provision uh, or clause number three, which of the source of power is people. What uh, what we in our uh, uh, what uh, where, where we use uh, the word uh, uh, authorities? Uh, well, it is in fact uh, just an organ of uh, government, uh, uh, but uh, the authorities, uh, the, the the power is not given. Uh, the power is usually taken o over. And uh, if the citizens, uh, when the citizens are not, uh, have, have not been a source of power because uh, they haven't had an opportunity, uh, they haven't had in, in, inside themselves the source of power. And over the last decade, uh, the context has developed, well, who has been a source of power after all? Not, of course, uh, the local administration, not uh, the authorities, but the unique source of power which has been uh, shaping uh, urban development uh, uh, has been the construction uh, uh, the construction companies uh, and uh, the construction companies have been uh, performing in the interests of the government uh, while the citizens, individuals, uh, they uh, uh, took on a strategy saying we'll pay to you, we'll pay to you, you will build apartments for us, we'll buy cars 
and inside uh, my uh, uh, car salon and uh, inside uh, my apartment, uh, I'll hide myself from all this chaos, and you may play your own games. Uh, a decade has elapsed, uh, and I was clear that uh, the source uh, of power is uh, the construction companies uh, and also uh, the uh, executive uh, body, and but they have not uh, uh, resolved uh, their agenda. People have received uh, traffic jams, uh, uh, absolutely uh, terrible uh, living environment, uh, uh, they have purchased square meters, uh, but uh, not the, the quality of an environment in there as an investment. Uh, right now, people uh, who uh, uh, were a sort of a material for use uh, by the city government uh, have been passive in decision making. They are becoming uh, subjects uh, or uh, uh, also. Uh, integral uh, to, uh, to the power, to the authorities. Well, the current process is uh, that uh, those who call themselves uh, the power, they, be they begin uh, to understand better that they are uh, just uh, a governance body, uh, a body uh, of authority. We need to be very careful with the word power, uh, the, the, the word authorities or power. But in this country, authority begins to call themselves the power. And also the construction companies begin to understand that uh, uh, they're being put into a straitjacket. Uh, and in this city, we can see an opportunity for the first time ever for a balanced development. Uh, because uh, right now we have three, three uh, different sources of power. That is the authorities, uh, the construction companies, uh, and individuals or residents who are becoming also uh, uh, agents of uh, power. All the three, all the three, these uh, components, uh, well, this awareness uh, or perception by them, uh, well, 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 it's a new context uh, for them. Uh, for, for all of them, uh, it's a problem because it's new. Uh, all the three components uh, have to, in the, uh, to, to work in this new context, uh, this uh, tectonic uh, shift. Uh, they need to, to, to perform uh, differently. Uh, what's happening now in the cities? Uh, well, the construction companies, they begin to develop, well, 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 power has taken been, has been taken away from them, and they begin to master, to develop, they go to uh, civil councils and also uh, develop their decision-making center. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting context uh, uh, which would uh, result in the city having a balanced development. Thank you, dear colleagues. Uh, is there any question in the audience? Yes, there certainly are questions. Certainly, yes. yes. So we are in decent, well-educated society. Yeah, we'll stay here as long as we need. Uh, we'll try to answer many questions. Yeah. We are for you today here. Let's start with the municipal uh, uh, deputies. Uh, Sergei, Sergei, the microphone, please. I'm from Paravani Kolingon District. I, I, I'm a member of, of the Presidium of municipal Municipalities. Uh, in your presentation, you dwelled on crowdsourcing briefly. Indeed, it's a highly relevant mechanism uh, which we implemented this year. For instance, in Troparavani Kolingon District, uh, when residents participated in uh, identifying uh, the areas which need uh, improvements, uh, I believe it's a, a quality mechanism and like to know. Uh, in the 2014, how will you develop crowdsourcing in Moscow by the government of Moscow? That's the newest uh, area. Involvement of population in crowdsourcing when some problem uh, that is in the CC tried to be resolved with a collective uh, mind. And that's a new uh, development that was you know, the problem of crowdsourcing is that not many people do it, and uh, we would like to to uh, to process this topic in order to engage the city intellect mind to have the opportunity for those projects who will win, so that we can implement in practice. And it's not easy. Usually, ideas are collected by one people, but implemented by the others who have their own opinion about life and now we are at the stage that we have been long discussing you know, with each industrial structure the topics that for them would be interesting in terms of uh, engaging this mass mass um, 
intellect. So when we do this topic, and we'll have this wide crowdsourcing in the city and regarding the, to determine places for uh, additional works and financial uh, opportunities uh, exist. And so wide crowdsourcing for improvement, for, for upgrading uh, public amenities, and they bring uh, for industrial topics, what does health care, what to do in education and, and other uh, complex issues. So we'll have crowdsourcing. We'll start crowdsourcing next year. Thank you. Moscow State Duma. You ask a question, uh, how many active city uh, dwellers or city people there? They indicate is participation in elections in Moscow. What's happening in Moscow? We know about the president and mayor election. More city people come rather than municipal, and this number was 13 percent are ready to vote. What's happening in Moscow? We know as a reform with local government, we try to provide them real power to make to change these numbers. And it's interesting. Question to Body Gendro, Sophie, can you tell? about in Paris, voting at the local le level. How many people are ready to vote and to for the local authorities? Thank you. Thank you for the question. It is very high. 75 percent. Uh, the local uh, stakes are really important. And the next election, the elections next year, uh, two women competing with one another. The stakes are very high. It's very exciting. So, yes, there will be a heavy participation. But, you know, the problem is that we, for local elections, we vote every five years. So you need to find other ways in between to help people express themselves because voting just once every five years, that's not enough. So have I heard right is 75%? So we have way to go. I mean, for us, Moscovites and colleagues, questions. Are those are uh, not deputies? Okay, not deputies. Political scientists, I know. The same topic. How to determine active city dwellers with all respect on a, a far, it, you cannot judge it by, by elections. Um, it's a stereotype of the Soviet people. More actively to election come not those who are more active in in policy. Make uh, and a question whether we we can come to this topic through different way, whether d to determine the request of this like value proposition of this, uh, and how different it is. I would like to discuss this about thinking about ur urbanistic destinies of Moscow. Thank you. So, if uh, I understood correctly, what is the common between average uh, city dwellers and active uh, city people? So, one of the if we're talking about protest uh, movement and as one of the active, and what are the points of interaction where it seems to me that uh, consent and the idea that uh, the power needs to be controlled, not only federal authority and city, but your political leaders should be controlled. And so if we think about uh, values, that's the, the, the most important point, point of interaction. Thank you. We can speak a lot about it, but uh, Deputy Bacharov, colleagues, I have a specific example of this week to discuss this theory of conflict, which is emergent here, because urbanization is a conflict, but conflict sometimes becomes a crisis. Tagansky uh, district, um, we, we resolved this crisis uh, last week because citizens started to to demand in the park to, to remove the, like a city institution. 
and but for us it doesn't make anything and so as a result we decide people left and now they interact with us and but they also say that we are going to fight to move you out of here but we have to cooperate with you so it's already happening but who will protect Ilya who is the person who is inside the system of arrangements and agreements and who will protect municipal deputy like 40 percent of, of citizens really live in these districts and at the same time their districts based on the assumption of the main plenary is is a basis for our change and the main point of growth so they they don't want that in principle then we understood where conflict was in our specific institution because while we were department of education the the neighboring uh, store was afraid that they, the license would be revoked from them. And they financed this open protest of, of citizens and, 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 and make some unclear meetings because citizens say, okay, do the workshops and uh, do the films and have meetings. Uh, and what else do you want? And they don't know what. No, 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 we are against you and get out of here. But his son became a local deputy and he, and he represents the interests of this active um, disabled people and I'm not talking about physical disabilities but I'm talking about that our disability is related to trust and I would like to ask uh, foreign experts are there any specific examples well apart from those that we see in the movies as a 16th district when they when bombarded the whole district in Paris to make urbanistic activity are there a real no joke methods to resolve this separatist conflict because local deputies should protect local active citizens and they're categorically against common uh, city programs specific examples to resolve uh, such conflicts if available and protect local uh, deputies let me say what we plan to do in Moscow? Well, authorities so to resolve these issues are not provided to, to municipal deputies. This is a, a city institution, and a city conflict should be resolved by city authorities. We're not using in this case, and like to make people think differently and need to make decisions. But uh, bringing this uh, common suits are related to can lose this electorate need to decide what is more important common city entrance and we make these decisions all the time when we build major projects uh, of protest I would say that in France it's a way of living uh, there are protests every day in Paris even people owning ponies little dog horses they protest, they bring their horses to the opera. So, uh, so this is not really taken seriously. But on the other hand, for instance, locally, since we want precise example, a mayor that would not want public transportation in his city because it will bring poor people from massive public, uh, massive public housing projects to cross his city, this he will be able to be supported totally by his residents who share the same goals, not mixing with poor people. And yet, this is going against the common interest of the greater Paris. And we have these conflicts all the time. And so far, if this local uh, mayor or deputy is well connected, he's going to win. He's going to be able to detour the buses for maybe 10, 20 or 30 years. I have specific examples in mind. I don't know if I answer your question. But this is exactly the type of conflict, local interest, general interest, are in conflict. Thank you. Well, if we talked about Ilya, Ilya, Deputy Municipal Tagank, question to you. Um, welcome to all participants in the session since in some issues when we understand well some private interests should, should be below or common and but for other issues we can um, have this position the interest in for local private communities and, and the question to mr. Kapkov 
Alexander, and what in this current year and implemented a large program to to improve the 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 Sadova rain and the garden rain, and then within this program they created the working team to interact with municipal deputies. Um, they also speak on forums about interaction, departments with local authorities inter of mayor's office with the, and Sergei Simeon shows speaking about it and, and Vladimir when he gave example when uh, people plant the tree they will take care of this and this working team took into account many proposals to improve these areas in the garden rain and it's very effective experience but next year as you said in your most part of this facilities are uh, improvement upgrading and public areas are going to be under department of culture and so I have a question and proposal how you think about creating similar agency for interacting with local deputies and local municipality to take into account uh, their opinion of uh, local citizens and well I'm in favor of this the question is that the this diversity of parks and the territories it's not the garden rain when there are interests of uh, interested uh, those living in the cedars uh, um, and those who who visit the cities and but for each one I, I'm ready to share information and plans for next three years for each territory with the deputy and um, we'll, we'll have We'll discuss with the uh, uh, local community and the the Varabiova um, Gora with uh, and uh, with the Kamanka the the crime embank embankment Crimean embankment. So this is a new op not new op option for us. I think that our de deputies sh should be our um, in alliance with us and 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 but some public council and consult advisory council under the Department of the Culture you think are uh, excessive. No, I, I think it will not be efficient because these territories are so different. One thing is Ismailo Park with 300 hectares and another Sadovniki with 8 hectares. And, and each time there are separate requirements. are easier for us to speak with each representative of, of deputies and individually having the subject for discussion. Thank you. And a replica from Elena. It seems to me that, that there is a problem when they speak about public and private interests but in this country in our cities um, is a, just an enigma very often and uh, which interests are public and which are private so because very often and happens that very ambitious gigantic constructions that are represented as public interests uh, are in reality are implemented in the, in the interests in the private interests uh, I'm not talking about banks. I'm about at the level of understanding that in the cities there's a big problem how to separate private from public interests. One small group which is protesting and they say that they have their own. In reality, they have their public interest questions. Let's give the floor to a lady, uh, Ludmila Zotova, Professor Zotova, head of municipal uh, South Partovi. A question to Savibu body, esteemed professor. You touched upon very interesting problem, protest and security and, and guard. And we are under the council. We form the public council. Do you have experience to engage the uh, the public um, uh, to 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 secure uh, like public order? Do you have? Uh, experience to engage uh, public institutions uh, to uh, and I mean civil uh, society to uh, social social activists like people city pl peoples to involve or like seniors for uh, entrance and uh, some public points of a terrible example in that respect because uh, the, the French are used to turn to the state for their protection and when you ask uh, Parisians uh, whether they would like to participate themselves in the co-production of security, you know how many say yes? Three percent. 
and the rest say, we are very happy with the state <laughs> protecting us. Even it's not even the, the mayor who's in charge of security in Paris. And as we have, uh, in Paris, we have more policemen per capita than everywhere else. So far, security in Paris is not really an issue. But at, on the outskirts, since it, this is this conference, yes, of course, people are complaining that they have not enough protection. And they, they, if they don't receive this kind of protection, then it becomes dangerous because they will, they will support the, the extreme parties or they will take justice in their hands by weapons and maybe uh, form vigilantes. And that's very dangerous, of course. Thank you. Questions? Alexander Zakandiri. Yes, we'll give you the floor. Question to Anastasia. In your presentation, you said uh, one universal mechanism of interaction with local communities. Um, I agree with the mechanism that uh, with coming a new city administration that revived, and because I've been there from 2004, and uh, I remember about the authorities, a situation earlier, and this is your merit and. Uh, and the adoption of this law is a milestone in development. You said that you are in the middle of the road and it's not complete. Uh, so in business, the mechanism of interaction with counterparties is very important to understand the intentions of a counterparty and their plans and the, the direction of uh, action. So it seems to me it would be very good if not to develop the concept of um, development, but understand in, in which time we can uh, add and, and, and transfer and their authorities, what are the tax sources, or we're going to use through subsidies or, or extend the involvement of local communities of, uh, as deputies in, in decision making um, at the city level. It seems to me that in any case it would be right to prepare some roadmap and where uh, for the next future and uh, for the time of uh, authority of current deputies explain how we can act. Thank you. Let's see. And I'm not, uh, I, 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 I am against uh, the concepts because they are being born for a long time and then they, they go to shelf and nobody use it. There's some plan, some approach and, and principles that could be the basis um, so that we understand the direction and this would be more. All the rest will work on this. Thank you. Nikita, municipal uh, deputy, Astankina district. Um, yeah, you can put it in the right and we'll, we'll not. But question to Sergei. As you know, Moscow is uh, the most like uh, endowed city in terms of free internet, and there are 80 parks would be endowed with this free internet. And so the question is, how much is going to cost for the city budget? And won't uh, maybe internet become when paid? Uh, you have to pay for it. Well, not all parks uh, from next year uh, will have the opportunity to use internet. They will be included in the program of development of, uh, of um, recreation and, and only 10 parks next year will have internet but total cost about 70, 70 million rubles dear colleagues uh, thank you unfortunately a great uh, regret well well what would you like to say i cannot hear the speaker take the microphone please well my voice is quite loud but nonetheless yeah well, first of all, uh, Anastasia, Anastasia, if you don't mind, I'd like to sign on, sign on uh, for each word of your presentation, only with one exception. In, in reality, everything is exactly vice versa, just the opposite. Uh, we want to do something, but everything gets... Uh, comes out in the opposite way. The municipal deputies are elected in such a way that the chairman of the election board in my district received only the names of those candidates. And the one meeting before the election, 
Only one minute, evening, the evening before the election, so that the municipal deputies, well, 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 leaders, leaders of school, municipal deputies, mostly uh, school principals uh, and uh, CEOs, they don't have time to do that. Ninety uh, percent of residents uh, do not know their deputies. Uh, I'm from uh, the Committee for, for, for Civil Rights. Uh, we are, we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I, uh, uh, every every my word, every my comma and dot, I, I, I'm responsible for that. As for public hearings, uh, uh, they are falsified everywhere. In District Dorogomilo, for instance, 800 people uh, who uh, were against uh, the project. Uh, signatures had been collected against the training center to be built. Uh, people who don't live there who don't need it, they put their names uh, for this trading center to be built. Uh, uh, well, 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 and many, many such violations uh, we have on all these issues. Importantly, uh, the authorities are separated uh, from individuals, from people. It's very hard to get to the prefecture. There's no access to the prefecture. You may disagree with me. Please, please, I'll be quick. Mr. Hosnulin has promised four times uh, to meet with us, to, to listen to our proposals about the Mozhaisky Highway, not to make a flyover there. No one needs that flyover over this highway. It's high investment, but no, it doesn't, it will not be expanded. The highway will not be expanded. Well, and, and, and he runs away, rushes away like a hare, like a rabbit. We cannot get hold of him. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, it's uh, Tverskaya Street, number 13. Please go there. Yeah, but it's impossible to be received by, by, by the mayor and his uh, deputies. Thank you.